Hi everybody, uh, Ryan back with you here again. Um, gotten a lot of questions on the comments in regards to the uh, the Landstar fuel card, and a lot of people ask like, oh, uh, how do you use it? Or they, they act like uh, a little bit concerned, like because I use the term advance or pre-trip advance um, and things like that. And some guys talk about bringing their own fuel card over, and um, I, I recommend. I mean, that's one of the benefits of being over at Landstar is the fuel discounts you get with um, with using the Com Data card through Landstar, um, especially at TA and Petro, the uh, the discounts are quite substantial. Um, so I just wanted to go over kind of how the card works and uh, some of the discounts, and uh, get on the Landstar One app and show you some of the discounts uh, here in my area and in some of the other areas of the country. And I'll uh, show you why it is a really good deal and um, kind of the way it works out, the way it works uh, with the pre-trips advance and all that. It really does work to your advantage, I think, and, keep, and makes it easier for you to track your expenses and keep your expenses tied to the work that you're doing. But um, so I get started with it. Uh, like I said, this is uh, the card. You'll get two of these when you come over to Landstar. Uh, you have one for fuel and the other one to be for your settlements. Um, so they'll pay, uh, you, you do your pre-trips advance, this is my fuel card, so I do my pre-trip uh, sorry advances on this card. And uh, then my other card is where my settlements get deposited at. And uh, when you come over, um, you'll get your direct deposit set up. You can actually set it up on both cards to where if you have too much money on this one for some reason, you can direct deposit that to your bank account. Now, um, it, once you get your direct, it takes like two weeks for your direct deposit to kick in. And then um, you have to use the uh, Com Data, uh, Fleet Advanced Mobile app through Com Data to actually do your direct deposits into your bank account. Or you can write yourself a Com Data check and uh, use your mobile banking or whatever. And uh, just you can write yourself a check, authorize it through the uh, Fleet Advanced Mobile app, and take a picture of it with your mobile banking or whatever. You can do it that route. And I believe that's free, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a charge for that. I mean, if somebody, you correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the direct deposit is a dollar each time, so it's basically costs you a dollar to to direct deposit to your bank account if you don't want to do the check thing. Like I said, I think the check's free, but I may be wrong. Um, so kind of get on the list here. I set this down. Um, so that's the field card. It's uh, Com Data Network. Uh, so anywhere Com Data, you know, there's EFS, Com Data, and a couple other ones out there, Fuelman and all that. But uh, ours is the Com Data Network. And um, on the app, I'll show you here in a little bit uh, to show you all the locations. And there's that you can actually get fuel at more locations than, than what's on there. Um, ours just shows us the price and the discounts and all that. Um, okay, so Com Data Network. And if you're using that card, there's no need to send in the fuel receipts for your IFTA tax. So if you come over and you're wanting to use your own fuel card for some odd reason, um, or if you have to, if you're somewhere where Com Data doesn't work and you have to use a credit card or something or cash to get fuel, um, you have to save those receipts and send those in to Landstar, uh, the fuel or tax department or whatever it is, and um, so they'll actually do the um, the uh, the the EFTA taxes and all that, uh, so that so you're compliant there with your mileage and uh, whatever taxes do or or you know. Uh, reimburse to you if you're in that situation. I'm usually typically paying between $30 to $50 a month additional for the states that I run in. Um, the discounts are phenomenal. I mean, um, usually at TA and Petro, I'm anywhere from 50 cents off a gallon off the pump price. So, I mean, you see the prices out here, if it's $2.50, um, you could be anywhere, you could be under $2 on the time you get your discount. Uh, to some places, like uh, I know, especially the the uh, the, T, the uh, Petro out in Spokane, Washington. I mean, about whenever I'm out there, I, I'm usually getting ninety cents. I mean, or a dollar. Sometimes I've gotten like a dollar ten. Uh, so it's a pretty substantial uh, discount with using that card. And like I said, with uh, when you're using that card, um, all that the the gallons and all that gets submitted. The gallons and the price and the taxes, it all gets submitted to Landstar, so you don't have to do anything. They take care of all the IFTA reporting and divvying that money up. Um, so like I said, the TA and Petro is your best bet. Um, you can go to, um, also up in my area, the Speedways. I get almost the same discount at Speedways as I do TA and Petro, you know, like in that 50 cents uh, plus range. But the only thing is about going to those places, you don't get any type of points or shower credits or anything else. I mean, I like the, when the, when TA and Petro came out with the, the new Ultra One program, I was a little apprehensive. I didn't really like it because I was a Platinum member then. And they took away a lot of the benefits of being a Platinum member. 
but um, <clears throat> now I, I kind of, I've kind of, it's kind of grown on me to where I'm, if you get to the fourth gear or fifth gear or whatever, the, that, those are the higher levels, uh, you can actually get, you can use those shower credits um, for meals or um, even the, the, the preferred parking and all that type of stuff. So there's a lot of other options there, but you have to pretty well fuel exclusively over there to get those, those benefits, which, you know, I'm the type of person, I mean, the discount's so good that if I'm running low, I might stop somewhere and just put 20 gallons in the truck just so I can get to the next T or Petro because it's really worth that much to buy most of your fuel there. Um, you can go to Pilot, Find J Loves, and all those places. Um, typically at those locations, your discount's only about 25 cents to 40 cents or so. Um, typically Loves is, uh, is about the worst as far, I mean, Pilot Find J is kind of middle of the road. And I think they were, Given us like with Landstar BCO, when you use your Landstar card and your uh, your rewards card together, I think we were getting 10 points per gallon there. And again, some I haven't, I haven't fueled since I came back to Landstar. I haven't bought any fuel at uh, Pilot or Flying J just because the discount's so much better at TA and Petro. So it was uh, like I said, you got a little bit of a discount, 25, 30, 40 cents at that uh, Pilot Flying J, and you got the the 10 points which kind of works out to about 10 cents if you think about it when if you're going to use those points to buy stuff in the store so so it's kind of how you where you like to stay and all that but uh i'll get into the landstar one up here at the end um okay so to do your pre-trip advances the way you're going to when you book a load i believe you get um you can get the entire fuel surcharge so and then you get 30 percent of the actual line haul so we'll say that um Say you're you got a twelve hundred dollar load is the uh, is the gross. So you can get two hundred. You'll get the two and, and say the uh, the fuel surcharge is two hundred dollars, and you have a thousand dollars on the line haul. So what you're allowed to get is the two hundred dollars. Then you get thirty percent of the line haul. So that'll give you like three hundred and thirty three dollars repeating. So you'll be able to do an advance on that load for like a little over five hundred dollars if I'm if I'm correct on that. Um, and to do that. Once you book the load, it'll be once it gets into the system, you can go on to the Landstar Online account on your Landstar, uh, Landstar Online account, go over to the Money tab, come down and it has Trip Advance. And then you'll come over. There'll be a drop. If you got multiple loads open, there'll be a drop down menu. You you click on which load you want to get an advance from, and then you'll put in your card number. Once you I know on uh, my phone, once I put the card number in once, it automatically populates. Once I once I start, I can click on the box and it comes up. Then uh, you'll go ahead and hit OK. And uh, then it'll ask you how much you want to put on there. You hit OK, confirm. Then it comes up and says your advance has been approved. Now, when you do that, it charges you $1.75, which will come off that settlement. But the thing that I like about uh, the way the system works out, say I'm on a load, a really long load that might be, um, you know, like that 13 stop. I mean, if you do a really like a 13 stop cabinet load or something crazy like that, where you're on a load for 10 days, um, that I know, like when I was at Snyder, Whenever I'd buy fuel, it took it out on that week's settlement no matter what. No matter if I was done with that load or what. With this system, that advance, that fuel for that trip is attached to that trip. So if you don't deliver that load for maybe maybe you got a load where you're going to sit at home, you go pick it up, and you've done your advance, and you're going to come back home for four or five days or something because you got time in between. Um, so that load, that settlement, or that, sorry, that pre-trip advance isn't going to come off on this week's settlement. It's not going to clear until you actually deliver that load and that load settles up, then they take the money out. So it, you're keeping your expenses tied to each of your loads on the settlements. So it's not going to charge you this week for fuel that you're not really going to be using or, or delivering a load for a week or a week and a half. So that's kind of nice where you don't have to worry about those expenses getting taken out before you deliver a load. And it also, it helps you keep track too on your settlements. You can see how much, what it kind of works out to on these loads. So you can actually see what you're making, which, what's after a fuel and no expense. And you can, you know, if you see that load on the board multiple times and you've done it, then you can kind of see what it comes down to. You can, you, it makes, it's easier to make a quick decision whether you want to do that load again. So, I mean, it, it lays everything else, every, everything out real organized. And I can next, I'm going to do a settlement update tomorrow and I can show you guys, go into that a little bit more in detail how that works. And so I just covered that. So, you know, the advance is attached to the load and it settles when the load settles. But um, so that's pretty well, for the most part, it here. Um, I wanted to show you guys the Landstar uh, One app. 
And uh, there's a lot of nice features on there. They just, they didn't have it when I was at Landstar before. They used to have, you used to have to get like on um, a Calm Data app and uh, it didn't really show you everything, but the new one like shows you the, the state taxes and the discounts and you can really break it down to like if how what the actual price of the fuel is and it makes it a lot easier to make a determination like what state and all that you want to get uh, your fuel in and where, where the actual fuel is actually cheaper because you got to kind of take the taxes away and to, to actually get the price of the fuel and see where it's most beneficial because that tax money if you pay too much i mean you're going to get that money back so you really got to break it down to what the actual price of the fuel is but uh, with that I'll go ahead and uh, get on the app here and uh, we'll show you what that's all about. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the Landstar 1 app here. And um, it shows you where you are. Let me back out of here first. So you have to have a Landstar login to get in this account. Everybody can't get into it. You have to actually have an account. But um, they've, they've kind of combined three apps to get the available loads and the maximizer, which... I don't use I don't book loads that way. Um, a lot of people do, but I like to to get on the the web browser version of Landstar Online, and I actually set up search alerts and work off the emails. That way, I know whenever something's posted for exactly what I want. But um, so about the only thing I use this for is the uh, the find fuel. Now this is gonna set like where you're at in the country, and it shows you everything around, and uh, the green. The one that's highlighted in green is going to be the cheapest price. But um, so we're going to go. I know that that's probably a speedway at 205. But um, we're going to go to the TA. We can bring that up. Gives you the address. It actually shows you the pump price 259. Uh, Landstar discount is 53 and 8 tenths, so almost 54 cents off. Then it shows you the IFTA tax credit. So you can click that and it takes that tax credit off and it actually shows you what you're paying for the fuel. Because you gotta take that tax out to actually see what the price of the fuel is. Because it, it doesn't matter where you get the fuel. I mean, you're gonna pay the tax regardless. So even if it's 70, you, you might pay a higher tax, um, but the, you know, the fuel price might actually be higher. So you can take that, you know, those out and add those back in. So that's at the TA um, down in Canton, Ohio. So we're going to go back out. So now I'm going to go over to Pennsylvania so you can see the difference in the taxes. Which, uh, there's a TA. Yeah, there's a TA over here at Barkeyville. So their price is $289. You're getting Landstar discount of $0.55. Cents. Their tax over there is $0.74. Cents. So you take that out and you're at $1.60. So you're still better off. It's like a couple cents cheaper to get it over in Ohio. So you, I mean, you might be better off to buy it in Ohio and save a few cents and just pay the tax on your settlement over there versus paying more for the actual fuel. So I'll show you a couple other my other places I go to. Uh, I said the one out in Spokane, I always get a big discount out here for some reason. Okay, here's the Petro there in Spokane, Washington. See, their pump price is two seventy six, and you're getting a sixty seven cent discount. The taxes are almost fifty cents, so it puts with that, if you take the tax out, it puts you down to a dollar fifty nine. So, um, you know, on the West Coast, uh, that that's a pretty good price for fuel. And we'll go check out California. We'll go down here to the uh, TA and Petro down in Ontario. Okay. So look at the Petro down here. Uh, this is in California. So uh, pump price is three fifteen. dollars Landstar discount is 52 cents. So it puts you down to 263, take out the tax, you're down to $1.87 there, and that's right out, you know, Los Angeles area. Um, now for your uh, pilot flying J guys, I'll show you guys one of the, here's a flying J. And uh, see our pump price is 309, and uh, discount's 25 cents. So it's, you, you get a lot better deal at the uh, TAs and Petros than um, at pilot flying J. So that's why I, I'm pretty strictly, you know, if I got to buy 20 gallons somewhere just to get me to a TA Petro, I will I usually do it because, I mean, you're going to get 30, 40 cents more on that discount. 
But um, so we'll go over here to Amarillo, Texas. Uh, see what we got. So we got a Flying J right here. 235 pump price. Uh, Landstar discount, 25 cents. It's tax is 20 cents. Puts you down to $1.90 for the price of fuel. Now I'll go across the street and show you guys the Petro. Petro, pump price $2.35, almost a $0.60 cent discount. If the tax is uh, $0.20, cents, puts you at $1.56 time you take out tax. So that's why you hear me talking about TA Petro because it's such it's, it's twice the discount. But um, that's pretty well the, uh, the fueling part of the Landstar 1 app and um, kind of a brief overview. So, I mean, if you're thinking about using your own fuel card, I would really look at that hard. And, um, you know, because I, I, I have a hard, unless you've got a thousand trucks or more, um, I don't think you're going to get the discounts that you're getting here. I know um, I had my own TA account. And um, I was getting like eight cents and they take the money out every week, you know, regardless, it's coming out of your banking account, whatever you use, they're taking it out. So like I said, I like this because it's attached to the loads and just makes everything a lot simpler. And for $1.75 what they charge, you save that in three gallons. It pays for itself in three gallons with the discount. But um, we'll go ahead and get off of here. So, um, so kind of went over some of the uh, benefits of using the Landstar uh, Com Data Card. I uh, showed you guys the One Star uh, One fueling app, or one of the apps within Landstar One for finding fuel. And uh, I think it's a, it's one of the the big benefits of being here at Landstar. Like I said, if you, um, I know when I was at Snyder that we had Pilot Find J, and they gave us um, it was just a flat twenty five cents off. It was what was all it was, and they took that money out every settlement, whether you. Um, had loads i mean whether you'd finished those loads or whatever had going on um you know even if you had loads that weren't delivered until next week they took that money out on that settlement immediately um, so I, I like the system they do here um the discounts are really uh really substantial i mean especially at ta and petro and like admire the speedways are the same as the ta and petro but you just don't get the points or anything and uh, i like i said it's one of the the better benefits of uh of being over at landstar i mean mercers when i was over there theirs was a uh, about the same, maybe a little bit less on the discounts, but but we're pretty close. I mean, because we've, we've got about 10,000 trucks. I think over at Mercer, they were around 2,000, 2,500 at the time I was over there. So with more volume, more trucks, more fueling volume, you get a lot better discounts. And uh, tire discounts and all that go the same way. But um, like I said, a lot of guys talk about having their own authority. And when you do that, you're going to be down. I mean, even, even if you get into like a group or something, I, I would be surprised if you're going to get over 20, 25 cents off. And like I said, if somebody's getting better, then um, we'd be, I'd be interested in hearing about those so I can share that info with, with other people. But, but this is one of the reasons I'm not interested in getting my authority is because the, the, being in a pool like this, I mean, the discounts are, are a big thing. And, and you go through 15, 20,000 gallons of fuel a year like I do, and you start looking at you know 50 cents a gallon off, um, you you get up to you know 7,500, 10,000 dollars in savings, um, you know kind of on the low end. I mean that's if you're right at 50 cents, which some places I, I see more than that. Uh, so it's just uh, it just makes things easy, and I think it's a good program, and it's just uh, one of the other one of the benefits of being like at a Landstar or Mercer or somebody like that. So. But I um, hope that helps you out and answers a lot of questions. Like I said, we've had a lot of questions on this topic and um, hope that, that uh, answers some of them for you guys. Uh, if you got any questions or anything like that, feel free to comment or, and um, hit the thumbs up if you like the videos. Uh, subscribe and uh, like I said, uh, stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.